Good boy, Luca. He's standing still while you're actually throwing tack at him. Standing straight, Nick. He's standing funny on his way. He's turned. That's fine. He thought you were going to lose him then. <laughs> Okay, everyone. So, um, just on, we've just done the arena assessment with Luca. Can I firstly make the apologies for the not so clean horse? Um, and believe it or not, this is the clean side. <laughs> um, today we've had a lot of sleet and snow. It's been absolutely horrendous. Um, so it was way too, um, wet and cold to be washing horses off this morning um he was going to be clipped but just due to time restrictions here we've not had chance yet so just can i um can you accept my apologies that he's probably not looking his best but those of you that have been interested in luca you will see his um photographs from the summer where you can see just how beautiful this horse can look so um luca's um 15 hands ish um quite a nice size he's he's a nice um cobby type without being too heavy as you can see he's not got too much bone and he's got a little bit of feather um so if you wanted to clip all that off and then he would look um a little bit sportier or you could just let the mane grow and a bit more feather grow and he'd, he'd have that bit more of a traditional type look he is rising 11 years old as you can see skew bald gelding now those of you that have followed him so far i have put a description up that we found found him very very straightforward and very easy to do today was the completion of his assessments and um that statement still applies tenfold to be honest 
he is one of um, the easiest cobs that we've um, got or have. Um, obviously a nice size and a nice um, age, quite a sought after, as I say guys, I told you this was the muckier side. <laughs> um, so yeah, sought after size, sought after age, lovely temperament, very easy to do in the stable, he's well mannered. Um, he's good to tack up, he's good to mount, he's been perfect to load and travel. Uh, he is barefoot and he's got very good feet, so there's absolutely no reason why you would need to um, put shoes on. So that's always good at keeping the cost down. He's been in the same home for three years. It's been a very, very sad sale from his um, owners who we have actually been on the sidelines wanting to buy him for a little while um but when you've got such a good horse like this it's very hard to part with them but just through personal circumstances and lack of time force the sale which is quite a selfless decision to make when um you don't fault the horse um he's done pony club riding club he's done show jumping cross country fun rides he's done dressage tests he hacks alone and in company. He's good in the traffic. Um, he's, you know, he's been a well-used horse. So he's a cob that can do a bit of everything. Um, he's been used as a confidence giver type as well. So um, he really is a very straightforward little horse. And you ought to see his canter, guys. When you see this video, his canter is just lovely he's got the most comfortable canter pops into canter when you ask him he really does know his job in the school so those of you that want something that you could perhaps have some lessons on or do some clinics on he would do that he's a snaffle mouth and he's not strong he's not a fizzy type he's good in the open spaces he rides away from the other horses we've had him through water as you say he's done cross country and jumped all the natural fences you probably noticed from the video that you've got another two horses in here working and he's independently minding his own business and at the same time so are those two those two are kyle on rick and laura's on dancer um, remember this is away from home guys so you know we're bringing them in a different environment we travel here they, he's he's never been in this arena neither's dancer never been in this arena before you notice that nick's got a nice light contact so a relaxed rider and a relaxed horse he jumps all the little show jumps um the cross, as I say, he does the cross country jumps. He'd go on a little hunt. He really is a lovely all rounder. So if anybody wants something that, as I say, you're probably looking at him and he's absolute worst. And if he still is here by next week, we will clip him out. And those of you that haven't snapped him up will regret it because he is a beaut. Um, but you know, if he looks like this in his scruffs, imagine how lovely he is when he's all dolled up. But as I say, those of you that have followed him, you can see um on his photographs i mean he's been out with his old owner um cross countries jumped hedges everything i've got photographs of him doing all that so those of you as i say that want a nice straightforward horse that you can either take out for a nice hack or go out and do a full um show jumping cross country pony club anything like that you're not going to find much better he's lovely Thank you. So this is Luca now, just hunt his flat work video. As you can see, very easy to ride paces, works in an outline. That's not even Nick asking for an outline. He's offering the outline straight away. That'll change of rain now. He's happily working independently when we've got the other horses in here. Very straightforward horse to ride. <laughs> so in a minute I think Nick will ask for Canter. There you 
you go. Lovely transition into canter. Very comfortable canter. Super easy to ride this horse. Anybody that wants a straightforward horse, nice comfortable canter. As you can see, he's passing the other horses without a problem. He's done some dressage chests, this horse, but like most horses now through the winter, they've not done a great deal. 